Assalamu alaikum Muhammad Noor here, Sunnah Strength as Yeah, you're right, usual Alright guys, today We're going to be talking to those guys that want to improve their speed For their particular sport, whether it's football, soccer in America Whether it's American football, or basketball, or any other sport that requires speed, right? Whether it's track and field, whatever, stay tuned I don't tussle with a whale. I don't handcuff lightning. Go thunder That's bad. Only last week I murdered a rock. I have no fear whatsoever of anybody or anything. All right, guys. Number one thing to do if you want to improve your speed, you have to start doing weight bearing exercises. You have to do it. You have to start working legs, especially for you footballers out there. I know a lot of footballers and they never like to work legs, although their sport requires a lot of its leg dominance. So, for you guys, you need to start going into the gym and start squatting, start lunging, start doing leg workouts, and it has to be weight bearing, right? This will strengthen your muscle, make it bigger, which will, which will, in the long term, make you uh, a lot more injury, uh, injury free in the season, right? Number two guys, once you start to do that, yeah, hopefully you've done it already, but if you haven't started to do it, but once you start, once you mastered the movement guys, I want you to add speed. Speed, when added to strength, equals a thing called power. Power is what uh, is what will get you from A to B the quickest time, right? So if you want to see, for example, go have a look at football. If you go have a look at Cristiano Ronaldo. Cristiano Ronaldo has got a massive leap yeah, in the air because of the power generated when he jumps. Because this guy, he's a complete athlete. He's not like Lionel Messi. Messi is not like Messi. Messi's pure talent, guys. Cristiano has worked with strength and conditioning coaches and 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 he has listened to their advice and look as where he's got him look at his physique and you'll know what he's doing right so he does a lot of uh, leg dominant workouts so add speed to your squats add speed to your lunges and i'm telling you guys you will be bursting past defenders easily right easily so add speed to your weight bearing Workouts and finally guys finally I uh, touched up on it in uh, on uh, a little bit earlier is That this will prevent injury on the long term guys a lot I've seen a lot of uh, hamstring injuries quad injuries calf injuries In football is because you guys do not work your legs and they're not big enough strong enough to withstand the constant stop and start type of flow in these type of games whether it's american football basketball or football or soccer for you guys in america so if you want to prevent injury especially as you're getting older guys because i know the younger guys got they're less prone to be injured because they're still young right but you older guys you need to start thinking like an athlete start training like one and start to prevent injuries because you are not the way you used to be you're not built the same way so you have to start being smart get those quads bigger get those hamstrings bigger and then add speed work it'll prevent injury and make you a better footballer and until next time guys and until next time remember to subscribe right subscribe tell everyone you know to subscribe if you want any of these jumpers click the link below and if you are uh, never trained before, never been into a gym before, we have a program for you below. Email us at sunderstrength at gmail.com, sunderstrength at gmail.com, and we'll send you out a program free of charge, guys. So remember, eat clean, get lean, strengthen your dean, and burst past those defenders. Assalamu alaikum. I don't tussle with a whale. I don't handcuff lightning. Go thunder.